and we're back. In a priest-driven ambulance with silver sunshine stares, released in 1990, is the Flaming Lips' fourth studio album, and it's easily the best in their catalog up to this point. For their first album, Here It Is, it was obviously an amateur effort, but there was a certain kind of charm to it that made it enjoyable. This charm, however, very quickly dissipated with the release of their two follow-up albums, Oh My God and Telepathic Surgery. So going into this album, we have another lineup change, this time with drummer Nathan Roberts and guitarist Jonathan Donahue, who later on became a member of the band Mercury Rap which is a band I need to check out. Next up, we have an album here that could very well be classified as a concept album. The band attempted storytelling back on their previous album with the song UFO Story, but they really took it to a new level with this album focusing on God and religion. But by no means does that make this a religious album that makes any sense. There's a whole essay about Wayne's fascination with religion in the booklet for The Day They Shot a Hole in the Jesus Egg, which is a re-release of this album. It's a pretty interesting essay, I'd recommend you check it out. Now for the music. This is the genesis of the sound that the band would begin to embrace with their early 1990s album. Noisy, energetic, psychedelic pop rock, with lots of focus on distortion and guitar. While similar in some regards, it truly is a departure from the band's first three albums and very much so from the band's later album. It's still a great sound for the band, however. And it seems like the band learned their mistakes from the last three albums and began fleshing things out a lot more. The band really brought forth some oomph and power along with some catchy jangly hooks, like with tracks Shine On Sweet Jesus, which could honestly fit in pretty well with the band's follow-up album, the lo-fi grungy God Walks Among Us Now, and the raw energy of Unconsciously Screaming, blasting through with memorable melodies and high-octane performances that always seem to play on repeat in my mind long after the album is over. Of course, there is some slow burn material material on here, like with the melancholy five-stop Mother Superior Rain, the atmospheric and swirling Stand in Line, and the haunting acoustic jam There You Are, which was actually recorded live in a parking lot, which explains the crickets and the car noises. But you didn't know that. This album provides a nice ambiance when it slows things down. It really helps let you focus on the different sounds with each passing beat. There's a real nice flipping dichotomy with this album. And after hearing the first three albums, it's a really refreshing listen to hear something so concentrated and so well meticulated. I mean, with tracks like Take Meta Mars or Take Me to Mars, however you want to pronounce it, as simple as it is, I feel as though it's more of a complex and well thought out track than anything off of Oh My God, which really speaks volumes about Wayne's maturing in a songwriting front. This album ends with a cover of What a Wonderful World, which is a sad and weird take on the already iconic tune, with a slightly adjusted chord progression and dragging guitars, and it serves almost as a sarcastic look back on the themes present on this album. Death, destruction, control, devastation. I would honestly consider it my third favorite album closer from the lips. So, with all that said, time to take a look into my personal ranking of the tracks on this album. Let's get this party started. Okay. <laughs> In the OK tier, we've got Mountainside. Just Mountainside. Great. In the great tier, we've got Rainin' Babies, There You Are, and Stand In Line. I'm smart, right. Finally, in the absolute, whew, we've got Take Me To Mars, God Walks Among Us Now, Shine On Sweet Jesus, What A Wonderful World, Five Stop Mother Superior Rain, and unconsciously screaming. Overall, this album gets a very solid 4.5 out of 5. It's a must listen for anybody who's getting into this band, and it's a refreshing listen for fans who've been around for a while. And it just makes me so happy that the band finally diverted from the direction they were headed down with their last three albums. Fans wasting no more time, they're getting right into the action, and I applaud them for that. Really, truly a sign of better things to come. If you were to listen to any of the band's earliest materials, it's this one. Hands down, far none, finito. So, with that said, let me know in the comments below what you think of In A Priest Driven Ambulance, and I will see you all in my next video when I review the band's fifth album, Hit To Death In The Future Head. Hope you all have a great day, don't be a stranger. Peace. Washing up.